My name is Jonathan Mikel Alvarez. I'm teaching some art classes here at Winston Churchill High School. Uh, this is the IB30 art exhibition. Um, so the students have to put on an exhibition as part of their IB program, the International Baccalaureate program that we offer here at Churchill. Um, Art 30 students also put together an exhibition, a cohesive body of works um, that's in our curriculum. So this fits well into what they would be doing at this level anyway if they were taking Art 30. Um, the show generally is about society's expectations on, on us as individuals and how that affects us and negatively impacts us or can, has the ability to do that. Um, so one half of the show has a focus on anxiety and how those societal expectations and pressures and standards to meet um, have a deep effect on, on the individual artist's um, anxiety and I can relate with that. I have, I have some anxiety myself and I'm an artist and kind of feel a lot of a lot of those expectations have on me. Um, so they've provided some insight into how art can be a cathartic process to help them work through their anxiety and at times with especially IB the pressure is so high that um, it ends up creating this cycle of like I'm making art so that I can deal with the expectations but the expectation is that I make art so that's an interesting thing going on with with one of these students um, and the other student also is working from the same theme of uh, these societal pressures but have kind of talked more about four specific things um, so one being the pressure of academia that it can have on a student or an individual um, and what that how that negatively impacts them uh, another being the box of um, being the white cisgendered straight male and that box that's that's kind of like the ideal that they feel that our society has kind of put on them uh, and everybody in a way so they've kind of represented that and then also body imagery as well and trying to fit into the ideal standards of beauty um, and then stoicism uh, was kind of the last one which is kind of shown behind me here a bit too and how that negatively impacts someone and in dealing with all these other pressures and things of how in the face of all that, we're supposed to remain stoic and, and just kind of um, pull yourself up by your bootstraps and that kind of thing, and how that's not an ideal expectation for an individual. Um, a lot of this ties back to critical thinking as well. I think that with our Alberta curriculum and the IV curriculum, having a cohesive body of works, as they call it, basically putting on your own exhibition with a theme and a statement, um, it provides a lot of opportunity for critical thinking, which is one of the things I love about teaching art.